I'm Mike Brewington. You're watching Pry with your small salmon jumping up here. This is near a hatchery. And now we're out at Drano Lake watching the fishermen go round and round and round. A mailman tells me he's an avid fisherman. He says that they call this the toilet bowl. And later on in the video, we'll see why. If you're prone to video, you prob vertigo, you probably don't want to stay tuned for the end. I guess I shouldn't say it's the end, because at the very end I put on a slideshow of stale pictures I took from the bank. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's a different. You can see them. the weather was mixed. It was sunny and then it'd be rainy. And a lot of fishing, a little bit of catching. Here we can see one. I got to shoot in. a video. Come on, guys, get him up there. Turn the boat around so I can see it. Dang it. He's fighting him. This is a lot more fun. I don't have to clean him or anything. See, the, the guy's got his net out. I wish I could show you. I'll have it in video. Oh, he's hard working it hard. Oh, it's fighting him. Good. Come on, scoop it. You got it. Let's come on, hold the net up so we can see it. Well, what happened here? He's trying to get his hook out of it. You'd think he'd have the courtesy to turn the boat around so I could see what was happening. <laughs> Mobile anesthesia truck just pulled up her van. Says sweet dreams on it. <laughs> My daughter had called. That was her in the background. You can see them going around and around. It's Columbia River there in the background. The other side of the railroad trestle. Some people can't wait to make the whole loop. They have to shortcut, cut back in. There's always one, isn't there? Not my cup of tea, but it was interesting to watch for a while. It was you stop and you think of the amount of money that those folks must have in tied up in their boats and their fishing gear. I guess I shouldn't forget that and their fish finders. It, you know, everybody has their own passions and ways to spend money. Mine is camera gear, drones, and jeeps. Not everyone has a supercharged Rubicon. It's a real kick in the butt. Guide boats. Wonder what the folks spend for a day or half a day out there on the water with the guides. Especially if they come home empty handed. I think I quit fishing probably about the time I was about 15 or 16 when I started driving and discovered cars and girls. That was a disappointment to my dad because he was an avid fisherman. He spent his last years on the Deschutes River at Shears Falls sitting on a rock chasing the steelhead. A lot of interesting boats, small boats, big boats, one person, five or six people. It's uh, run what you brung, I guess. Weather was just a mixed mash. It was rain, and then it was sun, and then it was rain again, but at least it wasn't windy. And you know, that's something the gorge is kind of known for in this time of year.
They just drift around and around, just trolling, just going slow. How they stay in order and match their speeds is amazing. Very rarely do you see someone get tangled up lines with someone else, even though the boats are so close. Take some skill and co coordination. And there's always a few that have to get ahead. Some of this video was shot with my Olympus camera, just handheld video, sitting there in the car seat, or Jeep I should say, on the bank watching them go around. Some of it was shot with my drone out there, just hovering a few feet off the water and watching them go by. find the different boats interesting all the gear they pack into them everyone's got a cooler and I'm not sure if that's for the beer or for the fish trains going by it's active railroad tracks there and SR 14 alongside the railroad tracks beautiful up in the gorge we're spoiled where we live. You know, we're, I live in Vancouver and you know, we're within a couple hours of Mount Hood, Mount Adams, Mount St. Helens, Columbia River Gorge, the beaches, Oregon coast, Washington coast up there where we can drive on the beach for miles and miles. I'm not sure I could take this just sitting there going around and around and around. But they must love it because they keep going after it. When I was coming out there was a steady stream of boats headed back to town for the people to come out for the early morning fishing. And or got discouraged and came home. When I went back to town, there was a steady stream of them coming back out to go for the evening round. Guess the price of gas hasn't affected some things. Got their nets ready. Everyone's got to have a net because you got to be ready if you do hit one. Because you're sure not going to pull him in with just the line and the hook. The hook will come out of his mouth and he'll swim away. Stay tuned for the end of the video. I know it's getting long and boring, but at the end, I had put on a slideshow just uh, a lot of stills that I took with my telephoto and close ups of the people on the boats and the enjoyment they were having. Now, if you, you're prone to vertigo, we're probably getting to a point where you probably want to think about stopping because pretty quick we're going to go up in the air, we're going to look straight down. And we're going to see why they call it the toilet bowl. Are you getting nervous? Go up to an altitude of 400 feet in the air. I'll get myself dialed right in where I'm centered on them. Looking straight down 90 degrees. And you can see it. See them all just going around and around. 
vertigo coming, so hang on. We'll wind it up. Just spun the drone. Even bothers me once in a while when I look at it, so don't feel bad. If you can suffer through this, then you'll get the sideshow here at the end. Yeah, we'll kind of settle down here. And welcome to the slideshow. Like I said, the weather was mixed. It was crowded. Here they are making the turn. He's landing one. You can see the fish there in the net. They spend a lot of hours just for a moment or two of excitement and adrenaline. You can see everyone with their rain gear on. I got a kick out of the old timer here with this pole bent. I can call him an old timer because I am too. Been retired for nine years. See the rain gear. Little boats, big boats, umbrellas. I took close-ups on these boats just look at all the different brands of boats and it's quite amazing you know we've got everything from River Wild to Duckworth to uh, Lumas, Luma Welds to No Namers, North Rivers I see that the engine of choice, though, is predominantly Yamaha. You see, a, occasionally you'll see a Honda in there, but the Yamaha seems to rule the water world out there. Even an old Mercury or two, but still, you know, I would say 8 or 9 out of 10 are Yamahas. weather just trains going by this guy had his hands full he was fishing steering and controlling and bank shore bank fishermen lots of them ah we might as well end with a kill we got another one have a good one folks thank you